Uh, I think the first quarter um, really did us, basically. We didn't get off to a good start, and when you go down by nine, um, playing catch-up netball takes a little bit of away from the smartness of the play. So we, you know, on attack we were we were doing the obvious pass and defensively we were chasing things so it just sort of took us a little bit away from our game plan and then they just built from there um, but full credit to them they played well. Yeah oh, I mean their defensive unit's been tough all year mm -hmm. Christiana and Kelly have been a pretty dominant com um, combo and particularly Kelly's played really good netball. I think um, outside the circle Maddie and Ericana just put pressure on us, forced us to run laterally and they actually, they just went for stuff mm -hmm. um, and had a go and they, they had success and so that success feeds the energy of their team and kind of pushes us in the other direction so um, I thought they had a really good game tonight. Today was your 11th match <coughs> Um, look, I think the whole season in itself, I mean, you guys will know we're not the only industry that's been affected by COVID. I think um, I'm pretty relieved, actually, that the season's over. But I think the 11 games in 43 days, this team, it hasn't slowed us down. We're not... We're not tired mentally and physically. We were up for this game. We were ready to go. And I think our momentum coming through helped that. Um, but, yeah. So I don't, I don't think it's had a negative impact on our season. I actually think it's been quite good for us. I what did that sort of first quarter, full quarter time score do to sort of the messages and the morale on, on the court? And what was sort of your, your message and approach to things at the start of that second quarter? Yeah, I did think it shook us a little, but I don't doubt the belief and the talent that we have in our group. Uh, Gina actually had a really good chat at half time saying teams have teams have come back from this deficit before and I had full belief that we have a 12 that is able to stand up to that. Um, unfortunately it was too much to be able to run down and I guess that's finals netball and, and all credit to them for a very very clinical uh, performance throughout the court but I'm so proud I think for mm. us as a group we have grown so much over the last year. We uh, just felt so together and we really do, did have the belief. Um, mm. It just wasn't our day today and I think that's why some of the tears were coming was um, we weren't good enough but we're good and we really deserve to be here and we are people that just love being with each other. So in all honesty, what a season to have and just not how we wanted to finish it. In all honesty, I don't think so. I just yeah. think we knew it was going to be exactly the game that it was. And I guess uh, for some of us, we hadn't necessarily had the experience of what fi a grand final looks like playing consistently 60 minutes. And I think we got really excited in the first couple of minutes of the first quarter. So trying to find our feet was a bit difficult. But hey, mm -hmm. what great motivation for next year to try and build and to celebrate the success that we have had this season. Yeah, especially the young I think of the likes of Ali Temu, who has had such a consistent season, uh, learning off the likes of Anna Harrison. We have Kayla Cullen and Holly Fowler come back. We've got experience throughout the court and people who are eager to learn. Um, I'm also proud of Mila's growth as a centre and her combination with um, Gina in particular. Her and I have played for years, so she should know where to put the ball. Uh, but it's a good camaraderie in our team, and if anything, that's our strength. And I think that's the thing that... Um brings the tears a lot is that they they are a really they're the tightest group of players I've ever had the pleasure of coaching um, and they want to do it for each other and so I think it yeah it's going to take a little while to get over this disappointment mm -hmm. but there is so much to be um, proud of and I'm really proud of them and Maya just about this is everyone in the team except herself I'm re really proud of the way that Maya's led this team this back half of the season she has bought it and it's meant that we are in the position that we are in right now. Um, we could be at home watching it mm. like four other teams are but we're here because we worked for it and we got here and I think for me that's the thing that I hope that the girls remember after <laughs> they get through their disappointment because that's normal. Yeah. Yeah. Did your players understand the interpretation? 
Um, not all the time. Um, there were a few that, well, I don't know if on court they understood them, but definitely off court we were questioning some of the decisions. But it's that's kind of what happens when you mm. don't have momentum. That That's kind of how the the ball rolls it's always the team that's got momentum that tends to get those 50 50 calls and that wasn't us tonight um in all honesty they they called what they saw and and it just goes like that and um and i, I don't take anything away from the pulses win in terms mm. of umpiring or officiating yeah Oh, that was the Gina. tortilla wrap. The tortilla wrap is a Gina Crampton special. Okay. She is someone that loves to watch a good TikTok and just scroll through them. So that's the type of camaraderie and connection that we have is that we actually love being with each other. We like taking the mickey and having fun. Fun is probably one of the biggest values that we have at the Stars and has mm. been a reason why we've been here in the final today. So, yeah. And we weren't, we weren't having as much fun out there tonight because of the um, pressure that the Pulse put on us. Mm. Um, yeah, and, and now the arg there's been a massive argument around whether it's tortilla or tortilla. We know yeah. it's tortilla, it's Spanish. Um, but, you know, they are a great team and I just, I just hope that they, um, they can see everything that they've mm. achieved this year as opposed to the, the one thing that they did not, which is the one thing we're all here, for, here to do. Mm.